Welcome back. We are on the topic percentages. In the previous video, we solved a practical problem involving commission. In this video, we are going to learn about depreciation and how to solve practical problems involving depreciation. Depreciation. If an item is used over a period of time, its value decreases. This is known as depreciation. Let's consider this example. Kofi bought this phone for 1,500 cities. After using the phone for a year, he decided to sell it to his friend. Because he has already used the phone for one year, he couldn't sell it at the same price as he bought it. So he reduced the price of the phone from 1,500 CDs to 1,200 CDs and sold it to his friend. His friend also used the phone for another year and decided to sell it to another person. Because he has also used the phone for one year, he couldn't sell it at the same price that he bought it, which is 1,200 CDs. So he reduced the price from 1,200 CDs and sold it to another person for 800 Ghana CDs. Let's consider another example. Mr. Amo bought this car for 100,000 Ghana CDs. After using the car for one year, if he decides to sell it, he can't sell it at the same price as he bought the car. So you have to reduce the price of the car. So let's say that after the first year, if you want to sell the car, you will have to sell it around 98,000 Ghana cities. If you decide to sell it after the second year, you have to reduce the price further. So you will sell it around 95,000 Ghana cities. If you decide to sell it after the third year, you have to still reduce the price. So you will sell it around 92,000 Ghana cities. Now we can see from these two examples that as the item is used over a period of time, its value decreases. So for the phone, the value decreases from 1,500 cities to 1,200 cities after the first year. And after the second year, the value decreases from 1,200 cities to 800 cities. For the car, the value decreases from 100,000 Ghana cities to 98,000 Ghana cities after the first year. After the second year, it decreases from 98,000 Ghana cities to 95,000 Ghana cities. After the third year, it decreases from 95,000 Ghana cities to 92,000 Ghana cities. So as the years goes on, the value of the item keeps on decreasing. This is what is referred to as depreciation the reduction in the price of an item after it has been used over a period of time. Usually, the rate of depreciation is given as a percentage. So the amount of money by which the value of the item reduces is usually given in terms of a percentage. Now, how do you find the new value of an item after it has depreciated by a given percentage? To find the new value of an article after it has depreciated by X percent, reduce the current value of the article by X. So if we want to find the new value of an article after it has depreciated by X percent, all that we have to do is to reduce the current value of the article by X. From the videos on reducing a quantity by a given percentage, we learned that if you reduce A by X percent, you are going to have 100 minus X divided by 100 times A. So if you reduce A by X percent, the new value that you have is 100 minus X divided by 100 times A. So if we apply that here, then we can say that if we reduce the price of an article by X percent, then the new value of the article or the item is equal to 100 minus X divided by 100 times the current value of the article or the item. So if an article depreciates by X percent, 
then the new value of the article is equal to 100 minus x divided by 100 times the current value of the article. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to apply what we've learned about depreciation in this video to solve practical problems. Bye-bye.